All right, let's do January 2024 goals wrap up. This is being the 31st of January. Let's get this done. This is um, how I'm feeling at the moment is actually a perfect example of why it's good to have goals because I am um, so dragging my ass that having like, okay, you want to get this done today. That is, um, you know, some sometimes you're just not going to get anything done in a day, but other times you're going to go, look, I don't feel like I'm doing anything, but I've written on a piece of paper that I hang on my wall that I should do this today. Let's get it done. And as and you do that and you get a heck of a lot more done in your life. So let's do the wrap up video where I go through my goals from the beginning of the month and talk about how it went and what needs to get continue to get done. So as always, we start off with time with Ja, weekend activity with Ja. Uh, which we did do some stuff. We went to poor things most recently, and I think we did some other things. I can't remember, honestly, at the moment. Uh, and just making sure that we're kind of touching base, chatting uh, in the morning, definitely doing. Uh, number two is walking daily with the dogs and Jackie. Uh, Jackie had some definite days of not feeling good. So uh, I didn't, she didn't go. I had some days where I had various things I needed to get done. Um, so that intruded. So there's a little bit more of that. I, I did go for a walk today with the dog solo, but I did actually get to the dogs, which is good. It's good to do. Number three is early to bed, early to rise, napping daily. Definitely, definitely napping daily. I, I don't know at the moment I'm feeling really tired. I don't know if I've had interrupted sleep, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty kind of drag ass at the moment. It's also, well, it's now it's, it, that, I, that really makes sense on Tuesday, but now it's Wednesday and I'm still feeling this way, which sucks. Um, I don't know if I've, yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit tired in general. Uh, number four is minimum calorie intake, evening snack, small plate, which I I slipped out of. I went back to a bowl. Um, I think if that's the, the big thing I need to do for next month, it'll be a small plate and trying to measure out uh, portions of things like pumpkin seeds and other things so I don't overdo it in my consumption of stuff for a snack but that will be so that wasn't great this month but I recognize it wasn't great this month and I will endeavor to do better next month uh, number five is the phone and earbud hygiene that's just continuing to always leave my phone and my earbuds in here I think it's always something I'll leave on this list even though I'm quite solid with it um yeah yeah just like it's a very conscious don't put technology in 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 the bedroom because it'll it'll screw your sleep up number six is work on time a biking way at 2 30 so so 155 start start to pack um yeah i need to continue to work at that because i'd like to get i'd like to be getting there at five 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 minutes early consistently to my workplace that would be good Number seven is continuing to adjust to the new normal at work, adjusting to new work workers, wear a control freak, um, and also just adjust to adjustments. We're having, we've had a fairly major adjustment in the evening schedule and just kind of bend my mind to, okay, how can we make this work um, is definitely something to do. Yeah, yeah, that is something that's going to have to be, um, have to think about and, and work on of how we keep a uh, certain one of the residents occupied in the evening um, so that he's happy and that we're happy and that he's occupied, you know. Uh, number eight is um, daily physio exercises. Um, that's been going well, continuing with that. I had a bit of a tweak, but I seem to have worked my way through it. Uh, actually, what should go go on my sh very, very short-term um, things is make an appointment for Joel, my physiotherapist, uh, for the month of February and go in and get that done because, yeah, I've been out for a while and probably also look at getting a, a second pair of runners so I don't um, bugger, my, bugger myself up, which I have done. I did. That's when I had my last major trouble with my back is the, the shoes were not were not done properly. Number nine is a daily to do check in and completion in the morning. Um, TD mark on the calendar to do. Uh, yes, I've done that. I need to continue to do that. I probably need to think about like focusing on like what's a project, an activity, like a major project that should go on the to do list, not just my 
you know, just the easy stuff that I do everything. So that's, there's a little bit of a honing there, uh, a completion thing there even to get done. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, number 10 is my public channel channel. Uh, use the vocal video for, um, doing, uh, use the vocal video on the fourth to to work on my themes which i think is what i did uh, yeah vo i use the vocal video to do public channel goals reading goals uh and i did actually get a review out um in the public on the public channel so working on that uh number 11 was the reading goals which i just talked about vocal video on 11th using journal entries check back in February with the final video on the direction of my reading goals. Um, yeah, yeah, there's going to be a couple of little mini videos I think I will do of public channel, reading goals, project nine, 1901, um, those things that I should maybe try and do a little mini things in February talking about. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that would be a good idea. Um, uh, I'm going to just have a little piece of paper to one side. That is that. Ah, perfect. Okay. Mini vids. Reading goals. Channel goals. 1901 project. Uh, writing. What are the other things? doodling. Those are all my little creative projects that uh, I can, I want to have focus and I want to have like a, something I complete for each one of them. Focus and focus and target and end date. End date or complete date. those ideas um, kind of going in, in those things. So yeah, reading goals, which was, yeah, doing that. And also making sure I got my reading done during the month, which some of those weekends, actually the weekend is getting a little more crowded because I am instead of first thing in the morning reading, I am first thing in the morning on Sundays, I'm doing grocery shopping, which has been fabulous, which has been really good, really good, but it has cut into that reading time. Um, I think I've managed to sometimes just switch in uh, like a, a kind of afternoon reading time for the Sunday. So it's, it's, I've still done it. That has been good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Number 12 is writing projects. I've got two outstanding ones that are like long, that's Duffel Puffs and The Strange Case of M&M, &M, which I've just basically put to one side and I might put them to one side for February. Uh, I've got various short stories, which I have actually managed to edit and uh, start publishing. I published, I submitted one and had it published and I've submitted another one and hopefully it will get published pretty soon on LE, which will be like, okay, those are completed stories. And then I will, and I've got a ver couple of more that will probably go out in February of just edited finished, which are pretty much, they're ready to go. And I've even done the synopsis and the tags that would go along with them. So that's another part of the getting it ready, completed, and then put out things. So I have an idea for a fan fiction short story. It's going to be a short story um, going from the Lower Decks thing or erotic slash fiction uh, with Tendi, um, which I'm planning for February. Um, and I'll have to think about what other writing projects I want to do in February. Yes. Yes. And whether that is going to be also taking on what's going to be a far more daunting process of trying to edit the Duffel Puffs and the Strange Case of M and M. Uh, yeah, that's fucking gigantic projects. I don't know about them. I have to think about that. Um, number 13 is uh, daily journal keeping, working on a vignette subject each day or doing a doodle in there, which is what I, I kind of I've, I've done. Um, some days it's just like, I'm too tired. I just doodle. And then I write something around the doodle, which is like, fine. Um, Okay, I've got the 14. I've got reading on the weekend, which is a bit of a repetition there. 
Uh, number 15 is the doodling, a daily session of doodling, which has not happened. Uh, I have done doodle chat videos. I, I've done, I did some doodling, but boy, the, the end of this month here just did not happen at all. I think a part of it was I switched to trying to do a larger project. I have down here a longer form doodle story and it just completely broke me. I, I, I like, oh, I bounced off, which I don't know if that means I need to press harder to try and do that. Or if it's a signal that maybe I should just go back to the one panel things at the moment and just do that. Yeah, I'll have to think about that for doodling, but it was not, it was, it's definitely interrupted there in the doodling. It hasn't been posting on FCF. Um, yeah, 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 I'll have to think about what I want to do there. Uh, I've got sign every day for uh, Lingvano, which has definitely been going well. Uh, outside garden casts, not too much at the moment that way. Uh, indoor herb garden is on hold. Uh, number 19 is the vocal improvement. I did no ums um, almost every week. I did I, I three of the four weekends. I did a no ums. I did a no ums video. Yeah, three of the four weekends. And actually I did them all on Friday, which is interesting. But apparently that works for me. So I uh, did no, the no ums thing. Uh, book reviews do a prep video first on those videos. I should actually think about that maybe for today for the X bar X boys ranch um, X boys X bar X boys books book um, I should in Thunder Canyon. I should think about that for this this thing. Uh, did I do an anxiety video on the 17th? Yes, I did. I did do an anxiety video. <laughs> I don't know what it, I can't remember what it was. I was anxious about something though, so it worked out well. Um, vocal exercises daily. I did my vocal exercise uh, video where I put myself in front of the camera making ridiculous faces. That was good. Um, I did do a 2023 themes video wrap up on the 8th. Yes, I did. Actually, I did it on the 9th, but I did wrap up my themes, which was helpful for number 21, my doing my themes uh, work sessions on the 8th, 15th, and the 22nd, and then finally doing a themes video on the 29th, which really worked well um, for trying to kind of push me along on the themes. I, I, themes are going to be a continuing evolving thing throughout the for, throughout the months. That's fine. It's a living living document, as they say, which is good. So that was good. Uh, number 22 is House Tidy, which did not get anything done that way, but it is something that if I'm thinking about uh, weekend projects or, or things to get done, like little sessions eat, eat every day, House Tidy should really be on it. But yeah, I did not do anything like that. Uh, and number 23 is Supporting and Checking with Jaw and Continuing Challenges. Everything else is second, secondary to that. Uh, and yeah. There was, we continued to have quite a few appointments and stuff like that that she needed to get taken to. Um, and I'll talk about how things have developed a little bit since then. Um, definitely a little bit of uptick for her, which is great. Great. All right. I am going to leave it there. Good for me for actually pressing record and getting this done, but I am definitely in a low energy, low energy place right now. And um, indeed, I might just go and have a nap and then come back and do my other half an hour of stuff um, before lunch because I'm just feeling really tired right now. So maybe the best thing I can do is just say, okay, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go have a nap and then come back here and continue along with my day doing things, hopefully in the office and outside the office. Hip hip hooray. All right. More videos later.